High Ground Retakes It's one of the staple mechanics that any Fortnite player is forced to learn. That is, if they want to keep up with the competition. In fact, retakes are actually one of the earliest building mechanics that popular streamers and content creators developed since it was apparent that owning the high ground would make winning games a whole lot easier. Fast forward a handful of seasons, and nothing has really changed, except the skill ceiling, which has drastically increased. This is why we decided to look at some of the top high ground retakes that you might use in-game. What's up, guys? Well, this is your guy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm going to even add to that, I'm your number one fan because I really believe in you guys. Pro guys believe in you guys. And you know what? The sky is not the limit. I'm telling you, this is your time. This is your season, man. Be the best that you can be, not only at Fortnite, but also in life. So if you want to just connect with me on my Instagram, I would love to just talk to you, hear from you. I'm only one guy, but I will do my best to answer everybody. So, today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the best ways to take high ground. Now, I know that most of you guys are aware of the Creative Warriors here on YouTube that post absolutely insane stuff, not to mention insanely difficult high ground retakes. Those are great and all, and really, really cool, but since they aren't very realistic to just any in-game scenarios, we're not going to be covering them at all today. Instead, I think it's more viable to take a simple look at the effective strategies to just snag the high ground position with more consistency, you know, conserve mats, and lower risk. So uh, we went over build fighting strategies in the previous video, but this video right here is honing in on just one aspect of build fights, all right? High ground takes are just that important, so I felt that it deserved a whole nother video on its own. We aren't just going to talk about just the retakes as knowing when to use these sneaky strategies versus when to back off and look for alternative strategies feel almost as important. Nobody likes a cranker. So we're going to be addressing when to use these high ground takes for maximum results. By the way, I just wanted to let you all know that we are really putting in a lot of research into finding you guys the best retakes that you can just easily incorporate into your game, all right? So if you wanted to show us some appreciation, some love, hey, make sure to slap that like on this video. We really would appreciate it. Also, if you wanted to get more content like this on the daily, you already know what to do. You need to hit that subscribe button, like, immediately. I just got one more thing to say before we get into the video. Okay, so if you're looking to take your gameplay to the next level, which if you're watching this, I'm sure that's what's going on. I recommend that you check out Instapro, where we have 24-7 live coaching from some of the best players in the game. Head on over to ProGuys.com, like not later, but as soon as you can. All right, trust me, you're not going to regret it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, all right, let's get into the good stuff. First and foremost, before we even start talking about the high ground retakes, we need to discuss some do's and don'ts. Oh my goodness, I sound like a first grade teacher right now. High ground retakes in general can be really, really helpful. That is, if you use it right, you gotta use it properly. Retakes have their place in time though. And if you don't respect that, you're gonna find your entire game getting blown up as a result. That was supposed to be an explosion if you didn't know it. All right, you know what? Stop making fun of me, okay? I'm working on it, all right? I'll do it better next time. <laughs> Whatever. Retakes need to be quick and concise. High ground is the main goal when you go for a retake, but you also want to make sure that it doesn't come at a cost of putting yourself too high. What I mean by this is that if you crank 10 plus stories up just to get the upper hand, do you really have the upper hand? Hmm. If your opponent is worth his salt, he just might drop down and just chop you out. A tip that we actually went over in a previous video. Not to mention that lengthy high ground taste consumes way, 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 way more materials than you ever want to give up for just one fight. That is why I said earlier that we're not going to be looking at those crazy creative warrior retakes. All of the risk and additional material consumption for really no additional gain makes them unnecessary and potentially lethal for your game. Basically, I just said you're going to be doing all of that for absolutely no reason. Instead, hey, we're going to be taking a good look at some of the simplest yet most effective retakes. Now that we've gone over how a retake should fundamentally be executed, we also need to talk about when to do it. Okay, guys, think about this. Do you use a retake when on a one-on-one -on -one fight, meaning if you are in an early or mid-game scenario where a quick fight can just be finished without much of a risk of a third party? If you know or even think that the risk of additional eyes on your fight might become a problem, don't just try and go for a hero retake, okay? Box it up and play with the information you get. Okay, now you know your retake etiquette per se. So let's start talking about some of our top picks. The first high ground retake strategy we're gonna be looking at is the Connor Classic. Huge shout out to Parallel Connor for being the first person to popularize this retake as it allowed us to teach it to you guys. 
This devious retake technique is used when you are really on a budget and it does a really good job at conserving mats. Now, let's break it down. First, what you're gonna wanna do is put a ramp above and below you to create this top and bottom cover. This is something that you should already be pretty comfortable with if you've ever taken high ground using any technique. It's sort of the building block of any retake, so remember it as we're gonna be using this base in combination with different plays to outplay your opponents. So, once you've started ramping yourself a few stories up, you're gonna want to edit the top ramp 90 degrees to the right and jump at the same time. You're gonna have a short window of time to place a wall between the now and edited stair and lower ramp, so make sure you do that quickly. It's gonna take a few tries to master, don't get me wrong, so please don't get discouraged at first. But trust me, just like anything else in life, after you've practiced, 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 it's gonna start getting easy. So, like I said, it does conserve a lot of mats. It might not be the most protected retake strategy, but editing the ramp sure does throw a lot of people off. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your opponent is only a layer or two above where you are looking to make the edit, because if they are way above you, it's gonna be spam city. For using less mass, there's obviously going to be some more risk, but if you throw this retake into your rotation, you're going to find your opponent less aware of the next move you're going to make. If you do have some extra mass to spare, or have already tried this strategy with no avail, we've got you covered with the Thwaifo Cone Protected 180 degree retake. If you folks are not aware of what I'm talking about, when I mention a Thwaifo Cone, don't worry, don't get mad, I'm explaining right now. I'm basically referring to where someone throws a wall behind them with a cone on top to allow for an extra layer of separation between you and your opponent. If you watch any Fortnite competitive streamers, you probably already know of the Thwaifo Cone without even knowing its name. Anyways, the Thwaifo Cone can be used in multiple scenarios, but the easiest, in my humble opinion, is connecting it with the 180 degree retake. So, once you've applied enough separation between you and your opponent from multiple Thwaifo Cones on your way up the top and bottom ramp, it's time to bust out the quick 180 degree spin around an actually contest height. All right, so let's take a look at the one and only Booga, who makes it look so easy in a creative match. As you can see, he continues to use the Thwaifo cone to create enough separation to where he can actually execute the 180 degree spin and obtain height. He throws another cone on top of the ramp he placed after spinning around for good measure, and boom, he's in the driver's seat with high ground and not a worry in the world. This retake is, of course, a lot more material intensive, but if you already have good mass in your inventory, then the extra protection you get might just make the trade-off worth it. Just make sure that you don't use this retake on every single option because your opponent might just catch on and not let you get away with it again. Another related option also utilizes the Thwaifo comb, but adds a small spin that might be just enough to daze your opponent. So let's take a look at the Thwaifo cone sidestep. Like I said, most pros won't even use anything overly fancy. The devil is in the details in this case, and switching up what you're going to do with your Thwaifo Cone will definitely offer you an advantage. The Thwaifo Cone sidestep uses the same base top and bottom ramp and the Thwaifo Cones to separate you from the opponent. In this case, we're going to put a floor below us once in position and using the floor to extend this out either in the left or right direction. This directional change is certainly going to annoy your opponent, especially if you just used a Thwaifo Cone earlier in the fight and didn't sidestep before. Now, you can use this side step to take a low ground shot if you really wanted to mix it up. But this video is about high ground retakes and not playing low ground, so we're gonna go back to the building options. In Karos's case, he adds a few extra the wide full cones for good measure along with trying to squeeze a shot in. Regardless, the redirect throws off the opposition in such a way that he can crank a few 90s for easy high ground. Not too shabby, Karos. Now, don't go thinking that Karos is just like the perfect human who can just take high ground at any time without any error. He's a human, and humans are naturally full of flaws, including me, all right? Creative is much different than a rogue game, where the consequences of failing a retake can mean enough fall damage that sends you back to the lobby. And that's exactly what happens in some competitive zone wars that Karos takes part in. His continued aggression for high ground that ends up going to playground levels of height is what cost him. He realizes the mistake he made only after he ran out of materials and just fell to his eventual death. The proof is in the pudding, guys. Wow, that sounds really good right now. I want some pudding. Anybody got some pudding? Anyways, use retakes responsibly, all right? Or else you're gonna just end up like this guy. Sorry, Karos, we really do love you. I promise, I'm gonna send you a card. Signing, love Keith Allen. All right, I'm not doing that. On a real note, guys, this isn't really too hard to take a look at your materials once in a while and just, you know, gather an inventory of what you have to work with. Even in Karos's case, let's say that he miraculously finds a way to get to height. What now? He's got virtually no mats and he's gonna have to force a 50-50 at best with the guy below him. So what would be the point of getting height if you have to go right back down to fight people? Does that even make sense? Doesn't seem super practical to me. 
High ground is super strong if you find yourself with it, but there's a place and time to just go for it. These retake examples that we went over today, guys, are just, yeah, examples. You're gonna wanna mix this up all together along with some of your own high ground retakes if you wanna really develop a strategy that's gonna keep yourself unpredictable. And that's what really matters. It's really that, misdirecting your opponents to grant you small windows that you can take advantage of. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, it is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen, your number one fan. I want you to connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. And stay tuned for more videos coming out.